Well, good morning. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. Hope you're having a good start to your day. I'm really glad you're tuning in. And I want to begin today by sharing with you a story, a true story that I find particularly challenging and encouraging, certainly motivating. Not long after Jesus' death, widespread persecution of Christians began to break out across the Roman Emperor Empire. And there was one such event where 40 Christians were, were sentenced to death. And the way that they were to be killed was through exposure to the elements. It was winter time. And so these 40 Christians, they were sent out to the middle of this lake. And they were guarded by five Roman soldiers. And the, the five Roman soldiers said, look, guys, you are going to die out here tonight. You're going to freeze to death if you do not recant. And so here's all you need to do. All you need to do is offer one little sacrifice to the, to the emperor. And we're going to bring you over here by this fire. We're, we're going to be sitting around this fire all night long. We're going to bring you over here by this fire. It's warm and toasty. We're going to put some warm clothes around you. We're going to heat up your toes, heat up your fingers, and, and you're going to survive the night. But if you don't recant, if you don't offer a sacrifice to the emperor, you're going to die. And so these 40 men, they refused to offer a sacrifice to the emperor. So they were sent again to the middle of this lake and... They had very little clothes on and knew that they would soon be dead. Now, one of the, the Roman soldiers happened to be a Christian, but he hadn't told anyone. None of the other soldiers knew that he was a Christian. None of the 40 men out on the middle of the lake knew, and he hid the fact that he was a follower of Jesus. And as the night went on, he began to feel more and more guilt. And as the night went on, the, the 40 men, they began to chant. They began to chant, we are 40 good soldiers for Christ. We are 40 good soldiers for Christ. Now after a while, as you might imagine, these men began to suffer greatly. and One of the 40 decided that he had had enough. And so he ambled over from the middle of the lake and he said to the soldiers, look, I, I can't take it anymore. I am freezing to death. Whatever you want me to do, whatever you want me to sacrifice to the emperor, I will do it. Just put me by the pot fire. Just give me some warm clothes. I'm, I'm willing. I'm ready to, to recant. And so sure enough, they, they put warm clothes around him. They brought him close to the fire. And a few minutes later, out on the middle of the lake, the soldiers could hear the, the Christians, albeit much much quieter this time. They were growing quite weak. They could hear them chanting, We are 39 good soldiers for Christ. We are 39 good soldiers for Christ. And as the Roman soldier, who was actually a Christian, heard these men continuing to chant, continuing to lift up the name of Jesus, he at that point could, could take it no longer. So he proceeded to strip off all his clothes until he was barely clothed at all, and he looked at the other four soldiers and he said, listen, I am a follower of Jesus. I'm a follower of Jesus. I can't deny it. I cannot hide it any longer. And then he proceeded to run to the middle of the lake. And as they chanted, we are 39 good soldiers for Christ, he said, wait, wait, no, 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 no. And then he said, we are 40 good soldiers for Christ. We are 40 good soldiers for Christ. And the next morning, when they went to examine the bodies, they found all 40 men had indeed frozen to death. And they found that that Roman soldier, who was a Christian, was dead among them. What a crazy story. What a challenging story. And, and you know, that story just reminds us that, that whether or not we find ourselves persecuted, whether or not we find ourselves freezing to death for our faith in the middle of the lake. We should live such lives as Christian that, that we absolutely confuse and confound those around us. But we should live lives as followers of Jesus that doesn't make sense uh, unless 
Jesus truly rose from the dead and came to take away the sins of the world. So let us be men and women. Again, we, we might never find ourselves in the middle of a frozen lake, but let, let us, like that Roman soldiers, live such lives in the way that we spend our money, in the way that we talk, in the, the way that we spend our free time. Let us live such lives that we absolutely confound a watching world, lives that simply wouldn't make sense if it weren't for Jesus. That is the call for every follower of Jesus. Amen? Amen. Well, God bless you, and I'll talk to you soon. That might have been the closest one yet. <laughs>